what's going on YouTube it's Kid Guy Joe here I'm back with another video today I got the 2021 Genesis G90 this is a full-size luxury sedan from Genesis full-size luxury vehicle with a 5 liter V8 but let's go ahead and start off in the front of the vehicle as you guys can see pretty much just like have the same design theme as newer or uh, yes yeah, newer Genesis products with this bold crest grill if you guys seen any of my other videos on the Genesis products as far as the G70 and the G80 um, you guys know that I express the feeling that I don't much like this grill on the G90 or the G80 I'd rather have it on the G70 because the G70 is a smaller car so it looks better on on the smaller car but they made this grill large because this is a large vehicle as you can see they have this shiny mess pattern on the on the grill here not honeycomb shape I'm wondering sure I guess you call it diamond shaped grill plexiglass co cover covering the front radar sensor you have your nice bold Genesis crest right there Taking a look here at the headlights, you have full LED headlights for your low beam and high beam. And you also have an LED amber turn signal. Very nice, very elegant, fancy looking. No fog lights on the Genesis G90. Taking a look here at the wheels, this is a staggered setup on this vehicle. The front has 245. Uh, 40 by 19s and the rear has 275 45 by 19 on the rear uh, This is a very fancy looking wheel very I guess Korean ish easy to clean because it's a disc type of uh, wheel Yeah, it's not my taste, but it goes well with the vehicle And following the rest of the side profile here. This is following the theme of uh, other Genesis vehicles as far as the G80 and the GV80 with the LED light bar on the side of the vehicle to let others know when you're turning or making a lane change. I'm not sure if they're going to make a GV90 which would be an SUV variant of this vehicle. We'll have to wait and see. This vehicle does come with the blind spot monitoring system with the cameras on the mirror, on the mirror when you activate the turn signal you'll see it in your uh, gauge cluster and following the rest of the side profile here you can see that it's very it's very flat there's nothing flashy like the uh, like the Hyundai Elantra and other Hyundai products with the geometric patterns just a very flat elegant luxury style shape you can see they have this chrome strip that follows across the whole windshield comes all the way to the to the uh, to the rear coming to the rear of the vehicle here as you guys can see full LED uh, tail lights the turn signals are amber in color it is red light strip across the whole vehicle Genesis is spelled out with your backup camera right above the button to open the trunk you said they have a 5.0 badge to represent that 5 liter V8 and G90. This is a dual exhaust setup on the vehicle. The outlets don't uh, protrude outside, or the exhaust don't protrude outside the outlets. This is a classy, fancy vehicle, so you're not going to find anything like that, especially as you know, as far as pops and bangs and whatnot. And they do have the. They decided to put the reverse lights on the bottom here open the trunk press that button now pop the trunk open and it's it is power assisted so you don't have to you know force the trunk up it is power assisted and this is a rather large trunk I would say this is at least 18 cubic feet of space you have Genesis on the floor mats right there some pockets to put some stuff these seats do not fold down they just have a ski through and that's to be expected in this kind of vehicle 
it is a spare tire in the vehicle with the kit to you know take off the flat wheel and whatnot and they have a battery they have the battery back here in the, in the trunk as well very deep very deep in this area right here and also give you a little clip so you can hang just like that very big trunk you can fit a lot of cargo in here and I also give you a little metal garnish right here as well very fancy and, uh, up top to give you a button to lock the vehicle uh, when you close the trunk and a button to close the trunk as well it's also this chrome strip around the tail lights as well to give it a little bit to give it a little bit more uh i guess fancy stance taking a look under the hood here guys this is a five liter v8 four than 20 horsepower i'm not sure of the torque numbers i'll have to check that later and i'll put it in the video but 420 horsepower this uh vehicle is rated to get 24 on the highway and 16 in the city with 19 combined uh, very thirsty. This is a V8, so if you buy a vehicle like this, be prepared to pay a lot of gas, uh, money for gas, rather. And this is an 8-speed uh, gasoline direct in injection. This is a rear-wheel drive vehicle, so all the power goes to the rear wheels. But that does it for the outside, guys. Let's go into the inside, because that's where this vehicle shines. All right, guys, before we take a look at the inside of this vehicle, let's take a look here at the key fob. Very, very plain, nothing fancy. This vehicle does not have the parking assist where you can move the vehicle forward and backwards outside of a tight parking space. You have a lock, unlock, button to open your trunk, and to sound the horn. Nice size key fob, fits very good in your hands. And taking a look here at the door panel, guys. Very fancy door panel, genuine wood trim, genuine stitching, some genuine, uh, well this isn't gen this is painted uh, plastic right here, but up top we have a soft touch injection molded plastic here, genuine stitching, or full stitching here, with some uh, cream colored piping, this is here, this here is genuine wood, with uh, two person memory seating and a smart setting as well. I guess that's for anybody who gets in the seat and the, uh, it'll adjust to that person's weight and height. So more of that soft touch injection molded plastic here. Your window controls right here. You have one touch for the front. And one touch for the rear as well. Very nice. That's to be expected. More of that uh, full stitching. and. The, door, the whole door panel is soft touch plastics. No hard touch on the doors at all. Genuine metal speaker for a 17 uh, speaker lexicon audio system, which probably sounds pretty good. And shutting the door, it has a very solid thunk there. No rattles or bangs or anything from the door. That's to be expected. This vehicle is starts at above this particular trim the ultimate trim uh, this one here is priced at 76,000 and some change and whatnot so I wouldn't expect nothing less but taking a look here at the rest of the interior guys very very fancy very large lots of room I'm a hun uh, I'm 170 some odd pounds 510 look how much space I have between uh, with my between my legs in the center console right here very spacious taking a look here at the materials here on the dash you have some more of that soft touch uh, injection molded plastic here with some more of that full stitching some more genuine wood materials with some silver uh, silver uh, trim pieces I like how they have the touchscreen embedded into the dash instead of it actually being flat or tablet style. Uh, I, 
I like the way they placed that in here. This is a ten and a quarter in size. They gave you a uh, sort of analog digital mixture of the uh, of the center uh, instrument cluster here. As I said, they do give you the blind spot system in the camera for your left and right turns. But before we get into detail with that, let's start at the left side of the steering wheel here. You have illumination controls to dim and uh, to brighten and dim the lighting in the vehicle. Not sure if this vehicle has ambient lighting, but it may be, if it does, it may be too bright for me to tell at the moment. You have your button to disable and enable the blind spot monitoring system right there. Uh, lane keep assist and traction control buttons right there. Uh, button to open the gas cap, open the trunk, and an electronic parking brake right there. This steering wheel is electronically uh, assisted for your motion as far as up, down, forward, and backward. Uh, telescoping is the word I'm trying to use there. Electronically telescoping wheel, steering wheel here. On the steering left side of the steering wheel, you have your phone controls for, and volume controls as well. No favorites button on the steering wheel like in some of, uh, some of the other Genesis products like the G80 and the G70. I'm not sure why they didn't put that on the, on the steering wheel. That would have been nice to see. But they gave you a button to switch the modes from either Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, your maps, or to go to the uh, home screen as well. And on the right side of the steering wheel, you have your cruise controls this vehicle does have uh, lane keep assist as I said and this button right here will follow the vehicle in front of you at a safe distance nice Genesis logo on the steering wheel this is leather uh, leather wrapped steering wheel here rather comfortable in hands very soft very good feeling leather in hands I believe this is Napa leather if I'm correct Napa leather on the steering wheel and on the seats as well, which these seats are very comfortable. I'll talk about that in a second. And again, taking a look here at the digital gauge cluster here, or the half and half digital gauge cluster. Gave, they gave you like analog style speedometer and tachometer with your information in the middle as well. And again, this vehicle does have the blind spot. It doesn't pop up in the gauges, it just pops up in the middle portion which is rather large. I believe that's probably like a four to five inch display right there. Very nice, very crisp and clear. And uh, as you have your uh, lighting controls on the left side of the steering wheel, and very nice feeling. And your windshield wipers on the right. This vehicle does have uh, different modes. You have your sport, eco, custom mode, and comfort. When I put the vehicle in sport, the seat does, uh, the bolsters on the seat do tighten up a little bit, but not sporty. The horn sounds rather beefy, very loud. Shouldn't let people know um, to get out your way if need be. This vehicle does have a heads up display. I'm not seeing it right now, so it's probably not activated. But you could probably scroll through your menus to find that as well. These uh, scrolls on the wheel are very, I guess, Kier Stinger-like, but they do have a good, expensive, tactile feel to them as well. Let's talk about these seats for a second. This is a Napa leather seat. Very soft, very plush, with some cream color piping. Looks very nice, very soft. This vehicle does have heated and cooled seats. You should expect that in this kind of vehicle. Is uh, these seats? I believe the, the, the driver's seat, at least, is 22 power way adjustable. I'm not sure if the passenger seat have the same range of motion, but the driver's seat is a 22 way adjustable. Taking a look here at the uh, the center stack here, you do have a butterfly style opening uh, place for some change and some some other items. Very deep, very it's narrow but it's deep you have two 12 volt power outlets in there with the LED light 
very nice some more of that napper leather material with some uh, full stitchings right here and taking a look at the rest of the area here we have some more of that genuine wood here with two cup holders no fancy shiny rings around it like in the G70 and the G80 but it's good enough this vehicle does have genuine wood you have a nice place to put your phone I believe this is yes it do have a wireless charger in this area with one USB port this vehicle does have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay although it's not wireless in this vehicle which I'm not sure why they didn't make it wireless as I said you do have heated and cooled seats three levels you can't turn them on at the same time though and you have a heated a two-stage here uh, heated steering wheel not sure what this button is for so this button right here opens the partition for the rear you can probably control that from the rear seats as well this is a scroll wheel right here to control the ten and a quarter uh, display right here I'll go through that in a second it gave you a back a dedicated home button and a menu button as well you have a traditional shifter if I put the vehicle into reverse you do have a full 360 camera with a top-down view and some different uh, views for to help you park a little better and when you put the vehicle in reverse the partition does go down in the back to give you some some uh, a better view and when you put the vehicle in park the partition goes back up so that's very fancy very detail oriented you have your drive modes here as I said you have sport comfort eco and custom you have auto hold a button to disable the parking sensors and a button to view your different camera views or to en enable your camera views you can't just press that button and view the camera views as of now I believe I might have to be driving to view that coming up to the AC controls I'm glad Genesis stuck with keeping buttons in this vehicle no touch sensitive controls at all of course you have your traditional knobs this is a dual uh, climate control right here turn the AC on and off fan speed circulation as well very traditional stuff coming here to the media controls Genesis kept the traditional volume and tuning knob um, right now I'm on the map display this vehicle does not let you zoom in and zoom out with the tune knob like some other Hyundai and Genesis products but it is touchscreen it is rather snappy in this G90 other products that I've uh, tested so far it was rather slow but the angle of the screen is rather it's weird because you, you're resting your hand right here and you may have a different uh, difficult time zooming in and zooming out if need be that's just a minor uh, setback right there but you can use the control wheel as well to zoom in and zoom out so I guess that's better than reaching all the way over here for the tune knob when you can just use the scroll wheel here and zoom in and zoom out as I said dedicated home button to take you home very similar to other Genesis uh, in Hyundai Kia products but this one is a little bit more beefed up in speed You can control, you can set your climate through the, uh, through the system with the scroll wheel as well. That's very convenient. The system is very fast. No complaints there. But I'm not going to go too much into the system because it's very much like any other Genesis, uh, Hyundai, and Kia product with the same sounds of nature um, that people have come to know and love taking a look here at the glove box it is damped it is lined with felt it's not that deep though but you probably can fit in a small laptop maybe 14 inches in size in here up top you have some nice nice suede material up top with a uh, traditional size sunroof you can open and close it manually or the tonneau cover at least 
and opening the sunroof it slides into the roof you have full LED lighting throughout the cabin of course that's to be expect and you ha also have a sunglass holder but that's gonna do it for the front seats of the Genesis G90 guys let's hop into the back and see what kind of goodies we have back there all right now we're in the rear of the Genesis G90 taking a look here at the door you have uh, electronic sunshades for the big window and one for the smaller window as well and they're both electronically assisted so that's very thought out idea right there some more of that soft touch injection more of the plastic on top some more of that full stitching more of that real wood material here some more soft touch injection molded plastics here and metal speaker cover for the Lexicon audio system right here and this vehicle does have one and two stage uh, seating for the back as well or memory seating for the back as well so that's something you don't see in you know luxury vehicles these days shutting the vehicle same solid sounding thunk as the front up top you have uh, some mirrors right here some vanity mirrors so these actually aren't speakers like I thought but they're but they are vanity mirrors with a incandescent lighting setup but LED lighting right there some grab handles this vehicle comes with two screens in the rear as well on the back seats of this vehicle you have some more of that rear wood and some uh, some more of that plastic shiny trim right there look how much room is in the back of this vehicle this is my seating position in the front and I have a lot ton of space between the front seat and my knees a ton of space with two map pockets in the back of each seat the front seat front passenger seat has that walk-in device control to move the vehicle forward or move the passenger seat forward and backward you have two uh, rear seat air vents as well with some more of that plastic like trim to outline it you have two more uh, 12 volt power out outlets right there this vehicle the rear seats do come with heated and cooled seats you do have rear heated and cooled seats in the back very fancy you can control the volume or the uh, the fan speed from the back as well with this button you control the temperature as well and you can also turn it on and off you can also control the rear partition with this button right here you also have a dedicated home button to control the front screen you can control pretty much everything from the back of the vehicle As far as music and whatnot goes, you can control the music from the back. You have some more of that rear wood trim to outline the uh, center portion right here. This is more of a four seater because this is a rear wheel drive vehicle. So you have a rather large hump right there. I'm not liking the use of piano black plastic on this, uh, on this area. You have your controls here to move to control your seats, move your seat uh, forward and backward. You can lounge your seats. You can uh, adjust the bolsters on the seat. This rear has a lot of a lot of adjustments, same as the front. Taking a look at the center portion right here, you have a nice Genesis logo right there. And opening that area area, you have a nice deep portion right here to store some stuff in the back as well. One more 12 volt uh, power outlet and one USB port as well. Some more of the leather, uh, Napa leather throughout the seats as well. Napa leather everywhere. Some more of that uh, of the rear sunshades, and they also gave you a hook to put to hang any clothing as what uh, or whatnot. This is probably more of an executive vehicle where people will probably drive you around if need be. But overall guys this is the back seat very fancy very nice if you're wondering why this vehicle is 70k then this is probably why all right guys this is Kia guy Joe here that's gonna do it for this Genesis G90 5.0 this is a very elegant vehicle 
probably not for the everyday driver, more of a presidential, elegant style vehicle where people drive you around. But if you, like, if you guys like this vehicle, let me know in the comments below if you guys will actually purchase this vehicle. As I said, this particular model, this particular trim, ultimate trim, starts at uh, about around 74, and this vehicle right here starts at uh, sales for 76 and some change. But if you guys like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. Dennis is G90. It's Kia Guy Joe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.